You can cry on command. They are usually very fast, and that is why I decided to create this. Welcome to Free Talk, the show to help you learn English the fun and simple way. Ready? Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Free Talk Podcast. My name is Alan and I am the host of this show. This show that has one objective to take your English to the next level, the fun and simple way. Okay, so let's start with the episode of today. I think that the episode of today may be interesting to you. I really hope it is interesting. And maybe if, if it is not entirely interesting, at least it's something that can give you something to think about. Because for the episode of today, I want to talk about something that is inescapable. It's something that we cannot escape from. It happens to everyone. And that is birthdays. Mm -hmm. So as you noticed on the title of this episode, uh, I decided to name it Birthdays Are Overrated. So uh, to give you a fuller understanding, a more complete understanding of what I mean, I will explain to you what is the meaning of overrated. So this is a compound word. We have two words, over and rated. Let's, let's take first the second part of the word, which is rated. And rated is, maybe you, maybe you don't know the word rated, but you know the word rating. For example, on TV shows, we talk about ratings. Or on this podcast, for example, that means when you want to give um, a number, when you want to give a score to something, you rate it. So you can say, for example, something is good or is great or is excellent or is beyond excellent. That is a rating. And now go back. Let's go back to the first part of the world, which means of the word, sorry, which means over and is more than. So basically, when you say that something is overrated, you mean that you are giving more praise or you are talking about something in a way that is more than what it actually is. In this case, when I say that birthdays are overrated, what I mean is that people give much attention or much credit or much, um, I don't know, focus to birthdays than they actually deserve. It's, they are overrated. It's not really uh, a big thing. But, of course, this, this subject, this topic, even though, even considering that this topic is something maybe universal, because, as I mentioned, we all have birthdays. Because, by definition, a birthday is the, the commemoration of the day when you were born. So, we all were born, and, therefore, as a consequence, we all have birthdays birthdays. So here really the debate is between uh, if we celebrate birthdays or or not. So maybe uh, a more precise title should be birthday celebrations are overrated. So this episode is going to be basically a, a rant. That is R-A-N-T. Rant. And to explain you what is a rant, I will use the definition by um, Merriam-Webster dictionary. And rant is, as a verb, is to talk loudly in a way that shows anger or discontent. So when you rant about something, that means that you, you kind of, you are not only talking about something, but you say a lot of things about it and you talk in a, in a loud voice and you want your voice to be listened, you want your voice to be heard, but you are talking mostly negative, negative things about the subject in question. In this case, the subject in question is birthdays and this is 
I, I think, my rant about uh, birthday celebrations. So, um, well, I will start telling you why why uh, I am not such a big fan of birthdays. And this is something that is maybe relatively recent. So I, I was not like that all the time. I remember that um, a few years ago, maybe 10 years ago, right now I'm 27 years old. So I am thinking that maybe when I was 15, 16, something like that, I used to get very excited about birthdays. When I was younger, birthdays were really important to me. And I don't know why, but I was very excited. I, I also, I even remember that I used to, I had the habit of counting down the days. So let's imagine that we were uh, on December. So yeah, my, my birthday is in, in January in this month. So in, in December, some point in the middle of December, I would start counting down the days and I was constantly telling my family, oh, you know, it's only 20 days to my birthday. It's only 15 days to my birthday. It's only 10 days to my birthday. I was really excited about the idea of, of getting older, of having or, or of being one year older. And it was really exciting in that uh, when I was younger. But that changed. Some, uh, something happened uh, in that period of time that something changed. And all of a sudden, like really without any kind of anticipation or anything, I just like that. I start losing my my excitement, my emotion about about birdies. And now that I am I am older and I have had the time to think about it and to to analyze it, I think I have now maybe a reason of why I don't like birthdays. Um, I mentioned something about this topic or something similar in the episode of the New Year's Eve. And I said that a lot of people get excited. They, they, they feel this thrill and this emotion about a uh, new year because for a lot of people going from 2015 to 2016, in this case in particular, means something more than the actual passing of a day because it represents like the opening of new opportunities and maybe a chance to to a, a fresh start to start something new from the beginning to change their habits to change their their routines to do good things good changes in their life and i think that is that is good i mean from a personal perspective but I don't feel strongly about it. I don't think that that is the way years function. I don't think that is the way we operate as human beings. And um, the same thing happens with birthdays for me. I think that uh, only because, I mean, the, the, the day before your birthday, you were, for example, in my case, 27. And then on the day or of your birthday, you are 20, 27. I don't I don't really see how those things can change you. You are basically the same person. Only your identifications or any sort of uh, thing you, you use to identify yourself with says that you are one year older. So that is basically like the, 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 the most basic aspect of why I stopped celebrating. Um, Verdes. And then there is another reason, and um, that is about the, the social convention, the social obligation that having a birthday represents. And not only for you, but for all the people that you are in contact with, your family, your friends, your acquaintance. Acquaintance is a person that you, you only know, but is not your friend. And you don't have a, a strong relationship. It's only a person you you know, and um, that is maybe what what um, really annoys me 
the most. And I will I will tell you uh, more specifically specifically sorry what I I mean by that. My birthday recently uh, happened. My birthday was on January the 11th, so that is only two years, two days, sorry, two days ago. And this year, I received, I think, no more than five birthday congratulations. So five people, five persons remembered my my birthday, and they they sent me a message or they they mentioned. And they say congratulations, have a nice day, and, and all those things. And I, I, I'm sure that some of these few persons that said congratulations to me did it because I I forgot to hide, I forgot to delete my birthday date on my Facebook profile. That is something I do every year. This year I didn't. And I received some messages for my birthday. And um, this is not a coincidence that I received so um, few uh, messages. Because over the years, I have been almost uh, causing this, this situation. Because, because for me, birthdays are not something that is relevant to a person's life. In, in the most basic aspect, I stopped uh, wishing happy birthday to my friends. And, and it's not that I don't like my friends or it's not that I don't wish them to be, to be well or happy. It's just that whenever I want to, to say something nice to a friend or whenever I want to, to talk, get in touch with a friend or, or say something nice or wish them well, I don't need to wait until their birthday. I just do it anytime. I, I send a message or I pick up the phone and, and give them a call. So I don't think that really, I, I, I don't think that you need to wait for birthdays. So because I don't believe in this birthday thing, I stopped saying a happy birthday to my friends intentionally. And the consequence is, of course, that some of them, some of them, and I think that the big majority of my friends said, well, if you are not going to say me happy birthday on my birthday, I will not tell you happy birthday. So it's like, I mean, we are even, we are doing equal things. You don't say happy birthday, I will not say happy birthday to you. And I think that's fine because sometimes you only receive these messages or these wishes, but they are not authentic. They are driven, they are uh, impulsed by the social obligation of saying happy birthday. So that is uh, what happens with me. I decided I don't care about birthdays, so I will not say happy birthday to my friends. And in time, eventually, they took the same stand they decided to do the same thing. And I, I just want to say that uh, <laughs> this is only my personal view of birthdays. And that doesn't mean that I don't like my friends. I love my friends. I think friendship is something beautiful. And I, I, really, I really care about my friends. I just don't think that we should use birthdays as an excuse to get in touch with a person and say something that it's not coming from from within you it's not coming from from you it's coming from the necessity of following these social uh, conventions these social obligations okay so um well that is basically what i wanted to say to you on this episode, I wanted to share with you what is my opinion and my perspective about birthdays. And um, I would love to know, how do you feel about it? If you, maybe you, you are a person who, like, who likes to celebrate birthdays and enjoys having uh, parties and, and getting their people and their friends close to them if that, I mean I would love I would love to know if if you are the kind of person who enjoys birthday celebrations 
or if maybe you are like me, if you share this um, opinion of birthdays that I have. Okay, so don't forget to leave me your comments. You can leave me your comments and your answer to this question on the website. On the website, every time we make a new episode, we make uh, a blog post so you can read the uh, the show notes notes of this episode. If sometimes I mention some extra information, you can check it. You can um, leave me your comments there and we can have a conversation on on the website okay so um now to finish this episode let's go to a short word on pronunciation okay so on the word on pronunciation of this episode we are going to talk about liaisons liaisons that is spelled l i a s i o n liaison and that is basically a connection a connection in sound so if well of course english is not your native language it is not my native language either so sometimes we find these liaisons confusing because this is something that happens in other languages but maybe not in your language and what a liaison mean or a, a, a connection a linking in sound means that we usually take sounds from one word and sounds from a second word and we we join them we put them together so when we have for example two words two separate individual words when you write them you see that they are two words but when you pronounce them when you say them it's actually only one sound liaisons are very common in english they are very common in French too, they are very common in Portuguese, I think, and they are an accepted rule of speech. People use liaisons so commonly that if you say the individual sounds, it's more difficult for them, for native people to understand you, even though that is not the actual or the, maybe we can say, correct form of speaking. So, for the episode of today, I want to talk about only four words or four combinations of words that have liaisons. I need to say, I need to tell you that there are many, many words that are uh, connected like this. But for this episode, we are going to talk about only four. And they are in these two categories. So, first, we have these two um, examples and the first one is the combination of the words want and to. Want, the verb want, and the preposition to. And a, the, the, um, the, the verb going and the preposition to. Want to and going to. For example, you say, I want to buy new shoes. I want to buy new shoes. That is the, maybe the, the way we, we are going to pronounce it, because we are not native uh, speakers. But the normal pronunciation, the pronunciation that American people will use more frequently is wanna. I wanna. So they, they link the sounds of one and two, and they say wanna. I wanna buy shoes. I wanna buy shoes. I wanna buy shoes. Uh -huh. And the same thing happens with going and to. Going and to, we say, for example, I am going to buy shoes. That is like the, the, the thing we would imagine. That is the sound we would imagine. And it is correct, but most people, most native people will say, gonna, gonna. I'm gonna buy shoes. I want to buy shoes. So I'm going to buy shoes. I want to. And I'm gonna. Wanna, gonna. Okay? So this is the first pair of words. They both have the preposition to. Want to, wanna. Going to, gonna. And then we have the this uh, second pair of words. And those are the words, well, the combinations of, of words give me. The verb give and the pronoun, in this case the object pronoun me. 
So give something to me. Give me. And the second one is let, L-E-T, the verb let, and again me. Give me, let me. In these two examples, something similar happens with the liaison. And then we have gimme, gimme. It's only one sound, gimme, gimme. Or lemme, lemme. For example, we can say give me permission. Give me permission to, uh, give me permission to eat your cake. Give me permission to eat your cake. But now I can, the, the most natural form is gimme. Give me permission. Give me permission to eat the cake. Give me, give me permission to eat the cake. Give me. Give me. Mm -hmm. And the second one is let me, which in this case, it, it means the same, to give authorization. So we can say the normal form is maybe let me. Let me eat the cake. Let me me eat the cake but the most natural form the most american way of pronouncing these two words is let me let me let me eat the cake let me eat the cake let me eat the cake but let me let me eat the cake come on give me permission to eat the cake let me eat the cake let me okay so these are only these two pairs of words that I decided to explain to you about the pronunciation. There are many, many others, and we will talk about more of these uh, liaisons in the future. So start practicing them. Uh -huh. when, you, when you see these combinations of words, want to, going to, and give me, let me, try to pronounce them with this new pronunciation that you have. Wanna, gonna, gimme, lemme. Okay, so that is going to be the end of this word on pronunciation. And let's go to the last part of this episode. Okay, so as you can see, the episode of today is, is, is going to be no more than, I think, 25 minutes, 25 minutes tops, that is, I mean, we are not going to go any longer than 25 minutes. And I think this is, I mean, this is one of my objectives with this podcast, to keep these episodes short, because I know that sometimes we are like, oh, we are excited about a new episode, or we want to, to, to listen to something, but we see the duration and we say, oh, 45 minutes, forget it. I will not, I don't have 45 minutes, and I understand Sometimes we don't have 45 minutes or more. So I want to keep these episodes short. But I would love to know uh, your opinion about it. Maybe you, you do have more time and you prefer longer episodes. Or maybe you prefer these short episodes. I am considering, I am entertaining the idea of making two separate episodes podcast two different podcasts so one podcast maybe one day of the week where I can talk more at length I can extend more on the topic and maybe I can make an episode of 20 minutes 25 minutes but only about the topic and maybe but but without any word on pronunciation and without any answers to questions and maybe I can ma make another episode I don't know, two or three days later, with no topic, but only a word on pronunciation and the answers to the questions. I think that maybe this, this new structure could give us the opportunity to elaborate more, to talk more in depth on the topic and about the word on pronunciation. So I would really, really like to know your opinion. What do you think? Do you like this idea of two different episodes or you prefer uh, me just to compact one episode and keep doing one episode uh, every week? So uh, I will expect your comments on the website. Remember, for more great content, videos, articles, podcasts, pictures, a lot of things, visit www.freetalkingles.com 
and I will see you next week with a new episode of the podcast. Thank you very much for listening and keep it simple. See you then.